After two months of hard knocks, restrictions are finally set to ease for businesses. The Territory's three-stage way out means pubs, cafes, gyms and beauticians will reopen tomorrow. And just three weeks later, almost all other lockdown measures will go, except for gatherings of more than 500 people and restrictions on travel within the Territory and interstate. Businesses that can reopen will do so in a different world to when they closed. So what will that look like and how will it work? Let's look at pubs. With the rest of the country still in lockdown, there were fears alcohol supply would be limited. But 175,000 litres of beer has been delivered to the Northern Territory in the last week, meaning the taps will flow from tomorrow. For venues to open, food will need to be served and patrons will only be able to stay for a maximum of two hours, although these limits will be removed on June 5th when Stage 3 restrictions are lifted as well. Nearly two months since we've the, the pub's been open, so uh, at least the locals can come in, um, order a feed, have a few beers and get back into some sort of normality. For cafes and restaurants, the usual dining out experience will look a little different. Tables will need to be separated by at least one and a half metres and most places will need one-way traffic flow measures, such as separate dedicated entry and exit points. While we will be setting tables and chairs back up, there will be minimal seating um, lucky for us here, we've got the outdoor lawn area, so we're able to move a bit outside with people in the fresh air. Staff will also need to increase their hygiene practices, while those who fall sick are being told to stay home. The Northern Territory attracts two million visitors a year through tourism and most of those would arrive in the coming months. But with travel off the agenda, it means for many businesses, simply opening the doors won't be enough. They face a long and difficult road to recovery. After weeks of limited physical activity, gyms are expecting a rush of people. But you may want to ring ahead. Numbers will be capped depending on floor space. The 20,000 plus people who use gyms in the Territory each week will need to bring their own water bottle and high fives are banned. We've had to change some of our class schedule, making sure that there's 15 minutes between classes so people have time to safely exit and enter the class and clean their equipment and stuff like that. Uh, moved a bit of our equipment around so there's 1.5 metres between the machines where possible. Tough protocol for sanitising shared equipment will be enforced and there'll be increased cleaning of common use areas including equipment, tables, chairs and doors. As for beauty and wellbeing providers, appointments are filling up fast, with the lifting of restrictions on services including massage, tanning and nails. It feels like it's been a long time actually, which is, I mean it hasn't, but it does feel like it's been a long time since we've had a, a hive of activity in here, so it'll be great to have all the rooms in use again and all of our team back on. Facials, eyelash and brow treatments, as well as cosmetic tattooing, will be on ice until June 5th. The reason the Northern Territory is relaxing the rules while the rest of the country is still nutting out a plan can be put down to the great success the Northern Territory had early in controlling the spread of the infection. There's been no community transmission and all cases that were diagnosed in the Northern Territory have now recovered. There's now just two Defence Force personnel in hospital who were flown in from the Middle East after testing positive. Territorians are now at the front line of making sure the new normal doesn't lead to a dreaded second wave of infections.